One in three women will experience chronic pelvic pain ranging from painful intercourse to your monthly cramps. But could a new procedure offer relief for women with certain types of pelvic pain? Let's have a look. I originally went to Dr. Gruner because I had some spider veins on my legs. He asked me some questions, explained that I always had lower back pain, and when I had my menstrual cycle, it was always very severe. Alyssa's symptoms are very common. In fact, 40 to 50 percent of women worldwide are dealing with chronic pelvic pain. My cramps, I feel like I have them all the time, but during my menstrual cycle, they're always a lot worse. Chronic pelvic pain is noticeably underdiagnosed. Symptoms can be anywhere from back pain to leg pain to hemorrhoids. They've tried heating pads, changing up birth control pills, over-the-counter medication, physical therapy, acupuncture. Your ultrasound showed that there was blood pooling in this area and that there was a narrowing in your vein. Pelvic vein incompetence refers to the fact that veins are not circulating the blood back to the heart the way they should. If the vein is narrowed, it will create back pressure and push the blood into the pelvis instead of circulating back to the heart. I think what we need to do is called a diagnostic venogram. Alyssa is the perfect candidate for this procedure, and this is a very, very easy test, and I think we will have a very high chance of fixing her problem today. We have IV access into her vein. We use this wire using the radiology equipment to get into the pelvic veins that we need to treat. At this point, we use the what's called IV contrast to be able to make sure that we make the correct diagnosis. The contrast fills the veins, and as you can see, the veins in the pelvis are enlarged, meaning that the veins are not circulating properly. This likely is the cause of the pain she's been experiencing, and I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with embolization, which is just injecting the solution that seals off the veins and causes them to clot, which prevents the blood from pooling in the pelvis. I thought that it was just something that some of us women have to deal with. I never thought that maybe it could actually be fixed. 